got a bell locked in a dungeon? A beast! A horrible, monstrous beast! <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, I'll go get her out myself! Crazy old Maurice! He's what he's good for Hmm. Crazy old Maurice. Hmm. Crazy old Maurice. Lafoo, I'm afraid I've been thinking. A dangerous pastime? I know. Ugh. That wacky old coot is Bell's father, and his Sandy's only so so. So the wheels in my head have been turning. So I looked at that moody old man. See, I promised myself I'd be married to Bell, and right now I'm involving a plan. If I. Yes? Then we. The would she? Yes. Now I get it, let's go! No one plus I guess I'll take a deep shot I guess I'll be a sick person You are on this back plus I guess I'll So it's marriage we soon will be celebrating My what a god Get Time for dinner. Where is she? I'll go check on her. Won't be a minute. Master, can you be patient with the poor girl? She's lost to freedom and her father all in one day. Master, have you thought that perhaps this girl could be the one to break the spell? Well, of course I have. I'm not a fool. Good. So, you fall in love with her, she falls in love with you, and <laughs> poof, the spell is broken. We'll be human again by midnight. Yeah, it's not that easy. These things take time. But we don't have time. The rose has already begun to wilt. It's no use. She's so beautiful, Mom. Look at me. You must help her to see past all that. I don't know how. Well, you can stop by making yourself look more presentable. Impressive, you break me a wit. But be gentle. Show me the compliments. But be sincere. And above all, what? You, you must control your temper! Well, where is she? She's not coming. What did you say? She's not coming. Well, we'll see about that. Your Lordship, your great sermon is, let's not be hasty. I thought I told you to come to dinner. I'm not hungry. I am the master of this castle, and I'm telling you to come to dinner. Master, that may not be the best way to win the girl's affections. Please, attempt to be a gentleman. Deep breaths, master. Deep breaths. I'll give her one last chance. Would you be so kind as to join me for dinner? <clears throat> please. No, thank you. Fine, and start! Master, please. If she doesn't eat with me, she doesn't eat at all. <sighs> What's Ray thinking? You will never be human again. But well, what would you have us do? Give up. I like this girl. I like her spunk. Well, if you ask me, she's just being stubborn. After all, he did say please. I think that might be the first time I've ever heard him say that word. Oh, hello, dearie. I hope the master. 
so they can give you quite a fright. You can be a little temperamental. A little? I am Cogsworth, head of the household, and this is Lumiere. Enchanté, mademoiselle. If there's anything we can do to make your stay more comfortable, anything, anything at all? Well, I am a little bit hungry. Except that. Cogsworth! You heard what the master said! Oh, pish tosh! I'm not about to have the poor child go hungry. <sighs> Fine. A glass of water, crust of bread, and then... Cogsworth! She's not a prisoner. She's our guest. You must make her feel welcome here. All right, all right, dinner. But keep it down. If the master finds out, it'll be our next. Of course, of course. But what is dinner? That's a little music. Music? Asher in, mademoiselle. It is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure as we welcome you tonight. And now, we invite you to our next. Let us pull the chair as the diamond proudly presents your dinner. Be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Time and napkin around your neck, dream and provide the rest.
example of a late neoclassic Baroque period. And as I always say, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. <laughs> May I draw your attention to the buttresses above the aviary? Oh, Mir, it's so, so wonderful. If only he were here. That's like a gentleman. I'm nothing but a fool. Thanks to some quick thinking on my part, disaster averted. What's over there? Nothing. Nothing, Nothing at all on the West Wing. Oh, so that's the West Wing. Where he's going. I wonder what he's hiding in there. Um, perhaps Mademoiselle would like to see something else. Over here we have some exquisite tapestries dating all the way back to the Renaissance period. In fact, they're my favorite. Sometimes I just come down and look at them myself. I mean, I pick them out personally. Keep 
once this way, I thought I saw. And when we touched, she didn't shudder at my paw. No, it can't be. I'll just ignore. But then she's never looked at me that way before. When she smiles at me, I get all choked up. My heart starts to pound. I can't breathe. Good. That's good. Excellent. Never felt this way about anyone. I want to get her something. What? It has to be something special. Something that sparks her interest. Any ideas? I think she likes books. Look who's back! I see something about her head. I got the images. What a nice dress. Thank you. Well, I have. I have something to show you, but it's a surprise. You have to close your eyes. Am I open now? Not yet.
to sweep myself. I can't wait to be human again.